suspension that's been handed out, particularly from uh, the offices in Mpumalanga, when workers were seen doing rituals in the office. And so the office said, no, suspension is being handed down to the mandates. And so on this episode, I wanted us to talk about this thing. What, what is it that's causing people to be doing rituals in a workplace? It's not their company. No, 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 no. This is the government offices. But they went straight to the office. And the things that they say were in, were, were in their rituals, involved in their rituals, absolutely uh, amazing. But I'll tell you my thoughts on this particular subject as we go into it. It's the next reality show with the Daily Christian Commentary. If it's the first time over here, be sure to check out some other videos that are down in the pinned comments. And remember, this is the new WhatsApp number. So WhatsApp me while you're watching this video. You can type the number in the comment, copy it. And then when you're done watching the video, you've liked the video, you've left a comment, you can then go over and save the number, WhatsApp me, so that I can save your number over there. If anything happens, I will WhatsApp you over there. And when I do post the video, I'll let you know over there. I don't know if you guys saw this particular article talking about Mpumalanga Sasa officials suspended after being caught on CCTV performing rituals in the office. Now, this article was posted very recently. I thought this was a weird one, but I think I saw it yesterday. I'm not sure when exactly this article was thinking. Now, I think this is a second video, and uh, this is just kind of basically just a very weird environment of what we what's happening in SA and stuff like that. But I think it speaks to a certain nature of things that are happening around us. I'm going to read a few portions of the article and then I'm going to go into my thoughts, particularly about this. So if you're not aware, Sasa, if you are outside the country, Sasa is an, a, a, a government body that actually does grant distributions. Okay. And so they're the ones who are in charge of that system and whatnot that grants grants to older people, people with kids who can take care of them and also people that are a little bit dependent. Now, uh, that's the office. So this person was caught on CCTV doing a ritual. So they, they, pub, they probably went to a sangoma somewhere, got these herbs. Now, I don't know if this is the same video or if this is the second video from the previous one, because I did see there was a video of a lady like just doing funny, weird rituals at the offices and stuff like that. That kind of came out, I think, about a month ago. And so right now, two people have been caught now. And so maybe this was one and so forth. Now, the article actually says that the South African uh, Social uh, Services Agency in Mpumalanga has suspended two officials for performing a ritual early this month. Okay, so it might be that particular one. I don't know. In the office, I've seen sprinkling liquids around the office and other one in the in is seen holding something that looks like a snake in the office in the office they're not just doing these things at their houses anymore they want to bring this stuff into thingy go start your own business and you can sprinkle your head and whatever at your offices when, when you start your businesses when you start your own organization you can spread all you want okay yeah, you can you can be over there. You know, even you see these people that do it on, at the soccer at the soccer fields and stuff like that. Yeah, dodgy man people doing dodgy man things over there. Needles were found in the office. Needles. How can that result into good? That's not even subject of luck. You are bringing you you are doing these rituals for distraction. The needles were found in the office, and that made workers fear for their lives. People now are afraid to work. Like there are things that are just like what's wrong with people? Like if you do this stuff at your house, at other people's workplace, you find all kinds of ritual stuff down on your table. Now you still have to work there. But the workers they fear for their lives and refuse to return to the office. Yeah, because people now want success so bad that yeah, other people better lose. What, what exactly were you spray? You know, we need to. Ask, what exactly were you spraying for? Maybe you said we must die. You know, and this is where it brings up that entire thing of the witchcraft, what, what, what act that the court is has had for as long as thingy not recognizing witchcraft to be a judgeable thing. What do you call this one? What what do you call this one? 
We must just avoid. Will you ever see something like this being questioned by the CRL? No, you will not. Because some of the people at the CRL, they themselves, they believe in uh, Ndumbri. <laughs> it won't go anywhere. Okay? Because Ndumbri now is just become something else. People want to get ahead by all means necessary. You know, I remember seeing that video of this lady. She was just throwing things behind her. And I'm like... What is she saying? What was she told to say when she was taking this particular herbs and whatever uh, concoctions she got from the from the juju man? It says, we found out that two of the officials were involved in the incident. As it stands, they are being suspended. Investigations are being conducted and underway, creating the heaven and the earth. The Bible is very clear. God says he saw that it was good. God saw that it was good. You know, and he created the world that we can all enjoy the benefits of it. Mankind as a whole, okay, all of us can enjoy the benefits thereof. But there are people that want to, to, to speed themselves ahead. This is why people's lives are sh uh, go short. It's because you are speeding yourself and you're probably going to speed yourself into a place where you're not supposed to be. And then when you get there, now you have to do rituals so that you can sustain your life. People can't wait for their turn. Wait for your turn. Everybody has had their turn. Everybody has had their chance. But no, it's not enough. Some people, they have their chance. And even when they have their chance, when others should benefit from their chance, no, they would rather take that one as well. Oh, this lumbering that's going on right now. It, that's what it, it, it basically is. It is people that can't just settle for what they have. People think greed is all about money. And greed is also in access, just having access beyond what you actually need. You know? Now, other people must lose their job because you, 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 you wanted, like, yeah, like man, yeah, y'all, y'all them, man, y'all, y'all are too much, bro. Yeah, y'all are too much. You, what is the ritual for? We must start there. If the ritual is so that they can get a promotion, wait. We must evaluate your 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 work ethic. We must evaluate because some people that just want to go and be supervisor. You are sitting there doing nothing. Absolutely zero. Contribute nothing to the workplace, but you still want to be supervisor. You want to be telling everybody what to do. Can't wait for that day to come so that you can tell us what to do. So that you don't have to have so many responsibilities. So that you can go around, you know, telling your homeboys and your home girls during December holidays that when you are supervisor. When you could care less about the advancement of that workplace. That's it. It's, it. That's all it's become now. It's become people that just want to get ahead at the cost of other people, at the, uh, at the expense of other people. I get to work and I find needles at my, at my space of work. And you want me to sit there. It's your ritual. Stick them needles into you. But don't be bringing them needles over to work. I have to be doing your jujus all over the place and stuff like that. Like, yeah, man, y'all are, y'all are, y'all are too much, man. Y'all are too much. And then people might just sit and, you know, just, just chill out. <laughs> it's your culture. <laughs> it's your culture. Your culture wants me not to have a job. You be promoted even though your performance is worse off. You can't wait for lunch. You are one of those people. You can't wait. It's, it's quarter to 12. It's not time for lunch. You've already sorted out where your lunch box. You're already sorting. You're, you're already calling people to bring you a drink. You're already calling the tech shop. It do bare minimums. Yeah, very same people that will be going up and down doing these this, this, this rituals. Less appreciative of their job. Why? Because you are at a place where, which you can't appreciate because you haven't grown into it. You can't, you can't appreciate being there. Because you have not grown into that position. Hey, man. And I remember when I saw that video, I wanted to make an episode about it. I just, I just kind of got flooded with other episodes and stuff like that. And I completely forgot about it. And so now to see that there's an action on it, it's not supposed to be suspension. Because now we don't know what was your motive. What was the juju for? Why couldn't you do the juju at your house? Why was the juju done in the office? Are you saying that this office should collapse? Should we be squandering money so that we give you? Should we be cheating? Should people be losing their jobs? 
whose table were you spraying it on how many people must be you know the all these questions come into there's a reason why you are not at that position when god's time comes you'll have it probably you're not supposed to be there that's why south africa is upside down because of people like that you foresell yourself until you get there foresell foresell and foresell you will be rich one in your hey jesus ritual every step there's no there's no step of your success that's actually because you were you were fit i'm a ritual pay la you you even when you are celebrating the awards they give you you know very well that that award you don't deserve it is because you did things not to have it it's shameful it's sad that's why you don't understand when other people se- celebrate you don't that's why you don't understand it you think everyone is just jealous you think everyone just wants to, you know to succeed you, because you have this mindset that we want what you have we want what we will get not what you have so you can't wait to hinder others with to choose and what blocking what that's what we call witchcraft why didn't they just write it here in the article bewitch <laughs> bewitchment the way bewitchment departments that way <laughs> what's the line is a judgment for all these things people that have earned that have worked hard to be at that particular position you couldn't celebrate the success of another person because you don't know what that looks like it's ricky let me go and do other work hey let me not let me not be doing bare minimums <laughs> and expecting exceptional results so i have this one here and then i have that one there so let me go to my second <laughs> It's Ricky. I'll see you on the later on episode. I'm a sub- ups- episode don't worry. Down in the pin comments. And remember to save the number, the WhatsApp number that you see there. And I'll see you on the later on. Y'all have a good one. Sharp. Hey, Dumbring.